What's up guys, Mark here, back with another design video. Today's one's gonna be pretty quick, I think. Uh, just gonna talk very briefly about the Pathfinder tool and more specifically the Unite functionality. So if you wanna access this, you need to just go to Window and then Pathfinder and it should bring up this little window here. And yeah, so the Unite functionality is one of the things that uh, I use all the time and I don't think that many people who are newish to Illustrator know about it or really use it at all. So I wanted to share some of the quick simple ways that you can use it and why you would use it. So if I've got these two circles here that overlap, one's black, one's red obviously, and I wanted to just combine this into one solid shape, I can simply click Unite. Similarly over here, I've got uh, a bunch of rectangles that I just overlap, overlaid. Um, there's also a circle back there, but yeah, a bunch of rectangles here. I just copied and pasted and then rotated them. So with these shapes here, uh, again, if I just select them all and then click Unite, I'm left with this shape on the right here. So they're all merged together. So you might be looking at this and thinking, okay, it looks exactly the same. So why, why even bother uniting it in the first place? Well, the reason for that is because any effects or anything that I change, I want to be applied to the entire shape, not each individual object. So to explain that a little bit better, watch what happens if I select both of these and then if I apply a black stroke to it. So you can see clearly the, the difference between the two. So that's really the main, the main thing. So if I applied like any warping or any other effects, I want it to apply it as if it's one solid object rather than affecting each individual one. Another uh, example of an effect is I might decide that I want to round off a lot of these corners or edges, which I do a lot in my work. So I would select the whole shape, click A to get to the direct selection tool, grab this little circle icon here and round the edges. And you can see a clear difference uh, in the two here because this one hasn't actually picked up that these are corners so it hasn't rounded them where they overlap whereas in this shape they have. Um, also just a little side note uh, if your shapes aren't overlapping when you try to unite them technically it will still allow you to hit unite uh, basically all that does is just group them together so when you click one it moves them all and you can still just double click them to isolate them anyway and, and move them around so a bit of a useless little bit of info there for you. Uh, another thing is you might notice that on the Pathfinder there is already a, a tool there called Merge. So you might be thinking, well, why Unite if I just want to merge the shapes? What's the difference? So I'll show you. Now when I united these two shapes together, it made one shape and it took the color of the object that's in front, by the way. So the red layer is in front of the black circle, so it chooses that color. If I were to push this to the back, um, it would end up being black. So. Yeah, just another little side bit there. But um, if I highlight both of these and click Merge instead, you'll see that they stay their current colors. But if I click it, it still moves as one, so it's been grouped properly, but you can still see that line there as well. So if I apply a stroke, you'll see it still applies through there, which we might not want. Um, interestingly, when you do this, if I just double click to isolate the group, I can actually move this away and it's actually trimmed the path as well. So you could, potentially use that to create some other shapes. Um, another way to achieve that shape would of course just be using the minus front tool anyway. So if I just had two circles, one here, and then uh, make another one who's a bit bigger, I could just hit minus front to get that same shape anyway. So, but uh, yeah, hopefully that was pretty easy to follow. I use this tool all the time. So I wanted to just make a really quick two minute tutorial explaining how it works. Um, if anything didn't quite make sense or if I was in, bit too quick with anything, by all means ask away in the comments and I will do my best to answer all of your questions. Let me know if there's anything else in Illustrator or Photoshop that you'd like to learn. If you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up and uh, yeah, feel free to subscribe as well as I'm currently on track for uploading a design tutorial every single day. So yeah, thanks guys, have a good one.